What is up y'all? As you guys can see here from the background, we're starting this video off at the place where I spend way too much freaking money. We're actually going to be doing some fishing that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time today. I have the big old orange kayak on here. I still don't have a name for it though. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section below. I was thinking though, it's kind of like a burnt orange color. So like burnt Bertha, Bertha, Bertha. Yeah, that's dumb, isn't it? Please help me down in the comment section below. I'm actually bringing this thing back home because we are going on a little trip. And I'm not gonna be lugging this thing the whole time, but we are going into Cabela's. And then we're gonna be headed to a creek. Finally, I'm doing some freaking creek fishing, man. I've been wanting to do this for so long. It's just that like where I live now, it's a lot harder to get to the actual creek. It's just like a lot more driving. I haven't actually been creek fishing in a very, very long time. It should actually be a pretty good time of the year though. Hopefully we can get on, you know, some pretty cool stuff. So we're gonna actually stop in here and I'm gonna build like a little creek fishing kit. I need to stock up on some stuff and I could also show you guys like what I like to use in the creeks around here. It is a weekend though, it's Saturday. So this place is like popping, popping. So I don't wanna stay in here too long let's just kind of get in here get out get the goods oh holy people all right I, I just stepped in here you guys are already showing love thank you guys so much to everybody who like when you see me in person you come say what's up it really does mean the world to me man see here exactly all right here we go this is a good place to start as far as a versatile creek fishing lure you can never go wrong with the inline spinner rooster tails meps aglias all this kind of stuff it's all it all works pretty much the same all right we're gonna pick up this dude right here 399 Meps Aglia, one eighth ounce. That's usually the size I go with for the creeks, like with the amount of water rushing through. I don't know if it's gonna be high. It was kind of raining. All right, now here is like, if I'm going fishing in a creek or a river, this is the section that I'm definitely, definitely gonna be hitting. I wanna stock up on some of this stuff. So these guys right here, the Z-Man Finesse TRD Canada Crawls. This is my favorite Ned Rig bait. So if you guys have been around the channel before, you guys see me throw Ned Rigs. I freaking love this. So we're gonna pair this up. Look at all these JK heads, man. This place is stocked up right now. Let's go with these dudes right here, one tenth ounce Ned Locks. Right, we're also going to pick up these one six ounce, just in case the current is a little bit heavier than I would think it would be. To be completely honest, like this whole aisle right here, like you got the trout magnets, you got the little drugs, you got these little dudes right there, little road runners like that, like all this stuff, little hair jigs. This is like creek and river fishing paradise here. Like, look at those dudes, man. The sausage heads. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy with all the river and creek baits today. We're only going to use a few things. I think that this should honestly do the trick. But this is another thing that I really, 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 huh? I really, really, really like using in the rivers and creeks, man. Some gulp alive minnows. Put these little dudes on a 1 8th or 1 16th ounce jig head, man. These things are freaking fire. See, this is just like the problem with this store. I come in here, I just want to buy everything. But I'm trying to limit myself here today to like the only the necessities in a kit that I would need. I've actually never seen this before though. Look at this. They have like gulp scent in a little spray bottle. Nine dollars. They have garlic nightcrawler scent. Wonder what that smells like. What do you guys think a nightcrawler scent smells like? But yeah, you see what I'm talking about here? Like I'd pick this up in a heartbeat. This is twenty dollars. I I uh there's also like look at these little worms, nightcrawler worms in the gulp. I wonder if that has the nightcrawler scent on it. Let me know if you've ever used these scents before. That's pretty interesting. Loki, I feel like if I got that, I'd just start spraying it on everything. I'm telling you, man, this place is just way too dangerous. Last time I was at the river and I did actually some smallmouth fishing, I was using some stuff like this. I don't know if it was Powerbait brand, but it was just like some paddle tails. I caught a big old freaking Delaware small. I linked that video up here. That is like the biggest smallmouth I ever caught. And also like stuff like this man chatterbait especially if the river is a little muddy got these like little bluegill dudes got these dudes got the giant 16 dollar kicking minnow Ooh, dude the sango section is decimated holy crap look at all these holes in the wall man no love for the bubble gum no love for the white sankos all right so i picked up some stuff that i needed i have a few more things in the car that we're gonna add to the whole fishing kit but i just want to thank each and every one of you guys who came up and like showed some love man really is just crazy coming in here and just yeah, I, I don't know. I just thank you guys so much. But yeah, big old long line. Got to wait and the, yeah. Oh, $22 later. I swear it feels like I didn't even get that much. Fishing life. Let's get to the water, man. Dude, what the heck? Why didn't nobody tell me this place is so crowded on Saturdays? The first parking spot I went to, like there was a very cranky state park lady. She's like holding up a zero at me. And then like, there's a whole line of cars behind me. She's like, there's no spots. And I was like, there's people like coming out. That like really triggered her. I guess she was saying they don't let people in when people come out. Oh, this looks interesting. So I came over to this spot. She actually said that this is better fishing over here. I had to wait like 10 minutes for parking over here until like somebody left. Okay, this looks freaking good, dude. All right, so this area right here is actually pretty cool. There's a little waterfall 
and it goes down into this little blade right here. So what do I actually have tied on here? We have a rod that's a little bit heavier. We got a bait caster and we got a whopper plopper. Wow, look how clear this water is. That is some extremely clear water. It's not even that high. I was kind of worried that with all that rain and stuff. Okay, this might be a good day, man. Hold on. Toss this mid rig around a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's chilly. Holy crap, this water is so clear. This is now our island. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, it gets pretty deep over here. All right, so we're gonna go right on the current break, see if we can pull anything out of here. This looks good, man. Can we just take a second look at this freaking water, man? This is like, I feel like I'm in the freaking Bahamas. I'm pretty sure it's deeper over on this side. So we're gonna chuck this ah, top water around. See if any, anything will hit it, man. There's apparently a bunch of different things in here. I mean, musky, smallies, largies. Can you imagine if we freaking hook into a musky, dude? I gotta be honest, man. I did not think, wow, look, <laughs> I just turned this old water into coffee. I did not think that this water is gonna be this chilly, man. I mean, what, it's like the beginning of September-ish, kinda? I guess like the middle of September. This water is like, bro, it's, it's chilly, man. You know, some waders can come in handy right now. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, man. Chuck the Ned Rig into the deeper water. I feel like I could probably get a little closer, right? Watch, get a freaking musky Ned Rig. All right, let's really toss this back there. Come on, Ned Rig. I'm getting hit. Oh, dude. We found some fish. Okay. If you are new here, if you just haven't seen it before, basically this stuff, super, super stretchy. This jig head takes it to the bottom and see how it's just like super wiggly. This stuff actually floats too. So it stands up kind of like in the water. Oh, there's some bites. There's a fish. Do I have him? Oh, did he come off? Oh my, dude, could have been the first smallie of the day. I have no clue what the heck. Like, I really don't know what, what that could be. I mean, there's crappy, there's literally any kind of fish you could think of. This is attached to a bunch of different stuff. I mean, there's snakehead in here. Oh, there's a hit, there's a hit. Is that the same guy? Watch me pull a giant snakehead. See, I'm getting tapped right there. Hello? There's a bunch of different types of sunfish in here too. Some super, super feisty red breast. I do. I miss the red breast, man. Those things are fun to freaking. Hello. These things are messing with me, man. All right, we launched that one. Can't believe how many people are walking by though. I've like, when I used to come here, like nobody used to be here. I guess it is a weekend. Oh no, not the tree. Jeez. Come on, drop it right on his head. They gotta be chilling over there, man. There's some structure, there's some shade, and it's deeper. Oh, there's a bite. Come back where you want. Hello? There's a fish. There's a fish. Okay, first fish of the day. What do we got here? This literally could be anything. What do we got here? Come here, boy. Wait, what? Are you freaking? <laughs> oh my God. All right, first fish of the day. I did say I missed these guys, but I did not expect. Holy crap. I mean, that's a freaking tank right there. I've been getting straight smacked. I don't, I don't know if it's just these guys. Wow, he has a giant mouth. Stick my whole dang thumb in there. All right, y'all, that is the first fish of the day. It's actually a super pretty red breast sunfish, man. I, I mean, I do miss these fish. Just look at that, the colors, the vibrance. Thank you so much, buddy. Let's see him swim away here. How clear this water is. 
Oh, I don't even know how oh, that worked. All right, we're on the board. There's fish over here. Hello? What the heck is this? All right. <laughs> We're gonna have to chill for a second, but as much as I like these fish, okay, chill. I really cannot tell you, man. These fish really aren't very abundant down where I live. It's another super pretty one. Wow. Saw something jump over here. I mean, I got no problem catching some, some red breasts. There's some awesome fish. It'd be cool if we could catch some uh, green sunfish too, or maybe some bluegill. A little multi-species action going. Oh, that was a hit. Mm, all right, so now that I kind of have a little feel for this, I kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna make it my personal mission to try to catch a smallie here today. A nice little small jaws. See if we can make that happen. I gotta admit though, dude, it's like a very, very, very nice day. Something happens when like the weather changes and it kind of transitions to fall. It's been feeling like super fall around here. Straight spooky season. I mean, all the humidity is left. It's just like perfect feeling out here, especially with the sun beating down. It's warming me up. Water's a little bit chilly, but the sun is, you know, it's kind of like offsetting that. But let me show you guys real quick. Look at this. Like this is freaking sick, man. I need to start coming here more doing some more river fishing. I guess this is considered a river, right? This isn't a creek. I've done river fishing in the past. It's just so much different, you know? I love stuff like this. Oh, is that a bite? Whoa. So many bait fish right here. Holy crap, what are those? Holy crap, there are so many fish. There's one, there's one. Come here, boy, <laughs> on the wobber popper. Is that a smallie? Oh, what? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what are you doing, my guy? I mean, that just goes to show, these fish are so freaking aggressive, man. I should've got a little popper, man. I remember years ago, I was having a blast with those guys on a, what was it, little cricket hopper? That's like the creek fishing special, man. I love those freaking cricket hoppers. That was so sick, the way he came up and smacked it. Come on, man, you're gonna tell me there's no smallies right over here. That right there is a lucky tire. So I'm kind of just waiting upstream right now. I'm looking through the water, trying to find some deeper water, and some pools where some of these smallies might be hiding, or maybe even bigger, you know, red breast sunfish. Oh, this looks kind of good. We got some overhanging trees right here. Oh my gosh, right behind the freaking rock right there. I got something, yeah. Holy crap, what the heck is that? I got no clue what this is. Oh my god. It's freaking decent, whatever it is. Oh my god, there's some rocks right here too. Holy crap, right behind that freaking rock. What is it? I can't see. Is it a smallie? Oh, dude, that's a nice smallie. Holy crap. Yo. Holy freaking crap. They got a little longer largemouth, man. Jeez, out of the freaking. That's nice. Wait, no, is that a smallie? Yeah, that's a large. 
Hold up. That's a smallie. It's not too deep in there. But he was right behind that rock. Holy crap. He hit it harder now. Yeah, he started, he, he's kind of whapped it and he ran with it a little bit. Jeez. That is the yeah, biggest yeah, freaking smallie I ever caught. Yeah. Hey. It's uh, it's called first state fishing. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is the biggest smallie I have ever caught. That guy was trying to tell me it's a largie. Dude, that is freaking huge. I had to cut the line. But, oh, dude. That is freaking ridiculous. Oh my God. I do not have a scale again, but that has to be, like that was a freaking huge smallie. That was the biggest smallie I've ever seen in person, let alone like ever caught. That was absolutely insane, especially with that current. Dude, it is true what they say about these creek smallies, man. They're just freaking crazy. Hey bro, shout out to the Red Breast Sunfish for keeping me company. That clip that you guys just saw was from last summer. And that was like, that was a rare fish for Delaware, man. That's a big old smallie. I've caught smallies a lot out of that creek, which I guess we couldn't do this time, but they, they're not usually that big. Like they have a lot of smaller smallies. Let me know in the comments below, what would be in your creek fishing kit? I think number one, I gotta go with the Ned Rig. Second inline spinner. And third is, I feel like it's kind of a toss up. There's so many lures. It depends kind of what creek you're fishing. The creek I was at, a river, whatever you wanna call it. That place, as I said, it has like a lot of smaller fish. It's kind of no for that but it does have like some big stuff some musky some snakehead probably third option for that creek would be something smaller like maybe a little hair jig or a uh, gulp alive minnow or something but swim baits chatter baits big spinner baits like i want to explore more around the state of delaware and just like around the surrounding states and just other states we really don't have the craziest river fishing or just fishing in general but it's realistic you know we went out there we caught some fish we had a good day we enjoyed the outdoors and i'm just enjoying this weather man it has been so freaking nice if you guys did enjoy this video this fishing's been tough man please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button it really does help out the channel it means a lot to me and also if you are new here or if you do enjoy my videos but you're not yet already make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me as always i just want to thank each and every one of you guys for all the support let me know if i should get back out there and try to do some river or creek fishing or go to other creeks the problem was like i couldn't get to the part of the creek i swear if i would have got to the first part of the creek but there was like so many people parked at the i know excuses right but if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know again thank you guys so much for all the support all i gotta say man Man. So let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next you video.